This is Artifacts of Mars, and this is a bizarre story. Not necessarily a bad thing, actually probably a good thing. What they're doing is they're using 3D printers to uh, basically print new body parts. And what we're seeing here is obviously an ear, which is actually uh, cartilage, no bone. Experts describe technology developed in the U.S. as goose that really does lay golden eggs. The idea of placing individual human cells in a precise pattern to replace a damaged jaw, missing ear, or sc scarred heart muscle holds much promise. But the field has been limited by the huge challenge of keeping the cells alive, they become starved of oxygen and nutrients and tissues thicker than two millimeters. Point two millimeters. The team at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center developed a new technique that 3D prints a tissue riddled with micro channels rather like a sponge to allow nutrients to penetrate the tissue. The integrated tissue and organ printing system, or ITOP, combines a biodegradable plastic which gives the structure and a water-based gel which contains the cells and encourages them to grow. When the structures were implanted in animals, plastic broke down as it was replaced by a natural structural matrix of proteins produced in it by the cells. Meanwhile, blood vessels and nerves grow, grew into the implants. Professor Anthony Atala, lead researcher, said tissues can now be printed on a human scale. While the implants have the same strength as human tissues, the researchers are now waiting to see how durable they are. But Professor Altala said 3D printing was opening new doors for medicine. Kind of interesting. Uh, this is... I mean, they're taking living tissues and they're using modern technology to make new body parts to uh, help people. There's nothing I cannot possibly raise one objection with this. Skepticism, yeah, but hey, if it works, if they can make it work. And, you know, make a new ear for somebody, new nose, or whatever. I don't think they're ready to make uh, new hands or anything. But if they can make this work, more power to them. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is, I would say this is a good thing. Very, very strange story, but... Hey, I'm game. They can't do it in a Petri dish and do it with a printer, I guess. That's about it. Seems like a good idea. Hope it works. A little odd having a new body part being created by a machine, but try telling that somebody was missing the nose and suddenly has a replacement. Good thing here. Pretty much, I would say. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.